hi everybody welcome to my channel please do make sure that you are subscribed there is a subscribe button like and also make sure that you do join as a member because there's a membership button here should you be in a position to pay 20 rands a month so that you can have access to videos earlier than the rest of the family so you guys let's talk about the story that is on a times live talking about how the home affairs has been requested to investigate the issue of uh mm. the miss south africa finalist okay uh so this is what it says home affairs to probe miss essay contestant uh at the china's nationality after family requested it okay it says home affairs minister leon says that the department will only investigate the nationality of miss sa uh, contestant chidima because the family requested it, okay? And not because of the calls made by the people on social media. So they just wanna make sure that it's not because of some petition that was signed or because of the backlash on social media, it's because the family requested them to do it. Many South Africans have questioned uh, Adichina's identity arguing that she was ineligible to compete in the title because of her nigerian born father and her mozambican born mother despite being born in south africa okay the minister said that the family wanted home affairs to verify her citizenship status and put the matter to bed i guess they're just tired of all of the uh, backlash on social media they just want home affairs to clarify things okay we will update the public once uh, we've done that but i want to make it very clear that we are doing so with the consent of the individual involved it means that even her she agreed that they must do it okay we are doing this because they approached us and we will not violate uh, the poppy uh, act okay or undermine the rule of law in cases where people don't bring the evidence and don't submit proper applications, he said in an interview with the newsroom Africa. The minister said that the department will not be swayed by social media calls to investigate without providing evidence that supports the claim that she is not South African. One thing we will not do is to respond to an approach about the particular individual when there is no actual matter before home affairs. We cannot go and violate the Protection of Personal Information Act because if someone comes to me and makes an allegation against you without any evidence and suddenly a lot of people repeat the allegation, it would be a violation of your rights in terms of the Poppy Act. I think it's been clear from Home Affairs that we are not going to be dragged into uh, the rumors and uh, vicious episodes that we see on social media. If you have a complaint against someone, you should bring prima facie evidence to our counter corruption units for an example and we will investigate the matter that did not happen there has not been a single actual complaint with actual evidence not even one he said that according to the law Adichina is south african i have been clear that we have to get back to the rule of law and in fact it's even in the gnu statement of intent that we have to anchor our decision in the rule of law i know there was a lot of noise and many people were shouting do this do that that's not how it works in the country with the rule of law we have a democratically elected government that's supposed to abide by the constitution and all the laws including the poppy act we cannot be governed by social media and we've seen some of the results of that over uh, the years you guys so here it is the family actually requested for the home affairs to uh, investigate this matter and basically just put things to bed and be like this is what it is okay because the question is is she south african i think even if the home affairs uh, say you would see she's a south african like he says here he said according to the law adetina is south african i think even if they say that she is south african i think the fact that um, her parents were not born in south africa they are always 
uh, there's going to be people that are always going to have a problem with the fact that she entered that competition. But then if we're not going to listen to what our very own law you know, says as far as she is concerned, then who are we going to listen to? Who are we, uh, if we're saying the government should make a different decision, where should they base that decision on if they're not supposed to base it on the law and also on our constitution? You know, I feel like if Homer first says that she is South African, then that's the end of it, okay? Because they have all of the records. Maybe gay, someone might um, question how... Uh, her parents ended up being South African and all of that but she is South African the Home Affairs Minister says that anyway you guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video you are allowed to go into the comment section and express your opinion on it but please you guys nothing offensive okay nothing offensive in fact YouTube will even delete your comment you will see it when but it's hidden <laughs> the people can't see it if you are using offensive words so it's actually pointless to put a comment like that on a social media or at least youtube anyway thank you so much for watching this video please like it before you make and share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in its hand